Hello dear students, today in this lecture we are going to talk about the operators in PLSQL. So what are the operators? An operator is a symbol that tells the compiler to perform specific task. The task can be mathematical and logical manipulation. So in PLSQL we have basically five types of operators. First is arithmetic operator, then relational operator, comparison operators, logical operators and string operators. Basically in operators there are two things. One is operand and second is operation. Operands on which the operation is performed and operation is the task or the manipulation that can be mathematical and that can be logical which is performed on the operand. Now we will talk about the arithmetic operator as you all know you have already studied these operators in C language or in another language also or in basic uh, mathematics also plus minus multiply division and power function they are arithmetic operator they will be performed as it is if you take a and b two uh, variable uh, two variables and they have numerical value then a plus b gives the value of addition of a and b so in the case of every other operators also minus multiply division and uh, power function they will act as same Second is relational operators. Relational operators, when you want to find out the relationship between or the comparison of two expressions or values or want to return a boolean result, means true or false result or zero or one result, then the rela uh, sorry boolean result, then the relational operator is used. So if we can say A holds the value 10 and B holds the value 15, then we can check if a equal to b it will produce a false result because a is not equal to b so this is equal to and this is not equal to this is also not equal to this is also not equal to so, so there are three symbols which are used for not equal to okay. mm, it basically uh, this operator basically checks if the value of two operands are equal or not if value are not equal then condition become true and in this case this operator also checks the same and this also checks the same and then this is greater than then less than greater than equal to and less than equal to so if a is greater than equal to b uh, question asked by the compiler uh, and user is this in our case we have taken a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 15 so, and the question question was a is greater than equal to b which is not correct so question is false so our result will become the false because a is less than b so these are the relational operators which can be performed on our plsql uh, uh, in our plsql blocks so after relational operators we will go on comparison operator comparison operators basically are four type like between in and is full so uh, first is the like operator like operator compares the strings or the characters value to a pattern or returns true if the value matches the pattern means if the pattern is same as given in the previous then it will return the true value and if it a pattern is not same then it will result as a false value between between is used to check uh, series uh, in a specified range we can say if uh, uh, the between uh, we will test a value and the value lies between a specific range which is given previously then the result will be true and if it is not lie between that range then the result will be false then in the in operator test set member members this uh, it tests the set members that means uh, in so the in operator test the set members x in set means that x is equal to any member of the set means if we have x is equal to w w as a character then x 
we have to check x in a subset or in a group of a b c so a b c that doesn't have the value x is equal we, uh, we said x is equal to something but that doesn't belong to our group a b c so the result will be false so if we want to check our value in a particular set and if it is not present in that particular set then the result will be false and if it is present in that particular set then the result will be true is whole if we want to check um, uh, we want to check uh, the boolean value um, like we, uh, we say if x is equal to w then in that case x has a value w and which is not null if we want to check some variable that it has a value or not if it has a value then it uh, represent not null it will become not null so it uh, the result will be false and if it doesn't has an, have any value then the result is is null then result will be true so if we want to check our variable that it has some value or not or if it is null or not then is null operator is used so these are the comparison operators which are used to compare our strings or characters then we have logical operators logical operators uh, they work on boolean operands and produce boolean results so they work on true and false value so first is the and operator and operator if both of the operands are true means if we take a and b and if a is true and b is also true then in that case only and has true value and if a is false and b is false the result will be false if one is true then the result will be false so only in the case when both has true values then result will be true in the note case if any one is has a true value then result will be true and if both has false value then result will be only then result will be false and in the case of not function we uh, find out the negation of something it is used to reverse the logical state or logical condition so if we have a as true then the result will be false and if we have a as a false value then the result will become the true so these are the logical operator then we have string operator but, but but before going to the string operators we will talk about strings what are the strings or why how they can be produced or how they can be declared in our in our plsql blocks so, so strings are actually a sequence of characters uh, that character characters have a uh, op optional size specification they can have size specification and they cannot have that depends on our uh, declaration if we have given the size specification that if as if we uh, we tell the compiler that uh, it can have length of 15 then only 15 characters are allowed and if uh, we doesn't specify the size then it can take any value depending on the uh, depending on the size available in the memory the, the characters could be numerical characters uh, numerical values that that can be in single quotation mark and then when then they will work as a character value that can have letters blank spaces special characters or a combination of all they can have so plsql can offer three type of strings first is fixed length string fixed length string means program specify the length while declaring the strings means we have to specify the length of the strings the strings in the right padded with space to the length so specified means a is a string we assign a is a string then in bracket we have to give the length of that string second is variable length string in such strings a maximum length up to 32767 characters are allowed for the string is specified and no padded take place so in this case we don't have to specify the size but maximum size will remain 32767 so under that size will be zero to that size will be optimal size for the variable length strings in third is character large object characters clo uh, we say them clobes 
so these are variable length string that can be up to 128 terabyte 128 terabyte memory space they can have 0 to 128 terabyte that is called character large object so these three types of variables are allowed or strings are allowed uh, uh, allowed in our plsql blocks <coughs> Now, what can be the functions or operators which are which can be performed on the strings? Sky. If we want to find out the sky value of a character, then we can say sky x x is a character, uh, or it can be a character of, uh, whose sky value we want to know. So, if we want to know the character value of character related to some sky value, then we can use care. If we want to concatenate two strings, sorry, it can be con it is concat. It is concat. So concat x y, it will concatenate our strings. In it can it will convert the initial letter to the capital letter uh, in str it will search or find out uh, a, a, some specific position of a string uh, in the in the given string if we were if we want to find out the position of a particular alphabet or a particular string in our string in our big string then in string can be used in string b if we want to find out the location of a string within another string but written, uh, but uh, it we want to return the bytes only. Then in string B is used. Length will calculate the total length of your string. Length B, uh, it returns the location of the uh, it it returns the length of a character string in bytes. So lower can uh, can changes your capital words into lower string or whole your string into lower characters only. L trim is used to trim the trim L trim and R trim can be two functions which are used to trim your string from a particular position. X is your string and Y is that particular position from left. You want to concatenate or you want to trim your string, then L trim function can be used. And if you want to trim your um, your string from right, then R trim function can be used. Upper will convert your uh, all your alphabet in your string in the uppercase letters so now we will um, go on the live screen and uh, run uh, some of these and see how they will work so this is the live sql prompt here we have uh, we have this code that in declaration section we have a um, we have defined a class uh, as a variable where there to 49 total characters it can have and this is the uh, string we have given to it and then we have defined a character v variable v with character value o uh, now uh, we have uh, given some of uh, functions here or operators here upper to convert all this in uppercase letter lower in lowercase letter init cap first cap character initialize uh, in initial character as a capital and then the length total length of the string and sky value of a character only single character sky value can be given at one one time so uh, we use v here v is has a single value only then in string if we want to uh, uh, we want to find out the location of a particular alphabet from the string uh, first position means first occurrence of e in the string it will tell you the location and if you want to uh, find out retrieve the characters total character six character we want to retrieve and from starting from third position then from class substr class three and six characters then first character starting from first word and then first character starting from last so result will be here first we said capit all capital if said all capital then all small first letter cap uh, capital then the total uh, total length of the string then um, sky value of o then position of e then six letters starting from third then 
फर्स्ट लेटर फर्स्ट लेटर एंड देन लास्ट